Hello money makers. Welcome to today's top 5 market updates. Our first update is from the energy market where oil prices are falling again as new corona outbreaks raise demand concerns. Oil fell more than 2% on Monday, extending losses from last week, as new coronavirus infections hit China and the United States, raising the prospect that renewed outbreaks of the virus could weigh on the recovery of fuel demand. WTI crude oil was down minus 2.40% at $35.39, while Brent was down minus 0.83% at $38.41. The oil benchmarks fell about 8% last week, their first weekly decline since April, as U.S. coronavirus cases started increasing. Over the weekend, more than 25,000 new U.S. cases were reported on Saturday alone as more states reported record new infections and hospitalizations. An OPEC-led monitoring panel will meet on Thursday to discuss ongoing record production cuts and see whether countries have delivered their share of the reductions, but will not make any decision, according to five OPEC Plus sources. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries OPEC, and its allies, collectively known as OPEC Plus, have been reducing supplies by 9.7 million barrels of oil per day, about 10% of pre-pandemic demand, and agreed in early June to extend the cuts for a month until end July. Next up we look at economic data from China. China's factory output has registered an uptick but consumers remain cautious. China's factories stepped up production for a second straight month in May, as the country shook off the economic torpor of the coronavirus, although the weaker than expected gains suggested the recovery remained fragile. Patchy data on Monday also showed sustained contractions in retail sales and investment, a sign many sectors were still struggling with the effects of heavy shutdowns across the world's second largest economy earlier this year. Global leaders are closely watching China to see how long it takes to get back on its feet as they begin to relax their own stringent antivirus measures and reboot their economies. Retail sales fell for a fourth straight month. Heavy job losses and fears of a second wave of infections have kept consumers cautious. China's gross domestic product shrank 6.8% in the first quarter, the first contraction on record. Highlighting the uncertain outlook, the government did not set a GDP growth target at its annual parliament gathering in May, the first time in nearly two decades it has not done so. We are off to Japan next where Prime Minister Abe has stated that Japan will resume fiscal reform once the economy escapes deflation. Japan will resume efforts to improve its fiscal health once the economy emerges from deflation and overcomes the hit from the coronavirus pandemic, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said on Monday. Japan's economy is battling a crisis, so the priority now is to use all available means to put it on a recovery path, Abe told Parliament. By achieving economic growth, Japan can restore fiscal health. But that doesn't mean Japan can endlessly increase debt, he said. In news from the crypto markets today, crypto lending platform Compound has announced it will begin distributing tokens from 15th of June. The Compound community approved a proposal calling for the distribution of the Comp token to all users of the decentralized finance protocol. Compound's governance token will be available for distribution to all users of the decentralized finance protocol beginning on June 15th. According to a June 10th tweet from Compound, the lending platform responsible for the major decentralized finance protocol completed a testnet trial of its Comp token as part of a governance proposal to distribute the token to its users. The lending platform will begin distributing 1,116,310.81 Comp across ETH, DAI, USDC, USDT, BAT, REP, WBTC and ZRX markets, proportional to the interest being accrued in the market on June 15th. Within each market, half of the comp is allocated to suppliers, and the other half to borrowers, the proposal states. Whenever an address interacts with a compound market, it receives all comp earned in that market, should it exceed a 0.001 comp threshold. And finally in some good news from the auto sector, Tesla has reported a 150% jump in car registrations in China for May. U.S. electric vehicle maker Tesla Inc.'s China car registrations in May jumped 150% month-on-month, data from auto consultancy LMC Automotive showed. Tesla's China registrations, including imported cars, grew to 11,565 in May from 4,633 units in April. Data from China Passenger Car Association shows sales of Tesla Shanghai made Model 3 sedan hit 11,095 units. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for regular updates. Only on Capital Street FX.